Hey guys, SHOT Show 2013. We're joined in the uh, Trident Lodge area by Carlo Ferlito, General Manager of Beretta Italy. Carlo, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Beretta Italy, the relationship with uh, Beretta Italy and, and the rest of the world. Beretta Italy is sort of the, the core, uh, the heart and the lungs of uh, Beretta worldwide. Uh, so you're sort of an air traffic controller, among many other things, uh, for everything that happens around the world. What are the challenges with dealing with uh, different countries, not just the time zones, but the culture and uh, the, the attitudes, the, the goals and so on? It's a challenge uh, that uh, is uh, made of different um, factors. Uh, the positive thing is that we have uh, the possibility to work uh, with different countries around the world, which is very strength because, uh, of course, the economy in the, around the world can vary by area to area, and our strength is also to have the possibility to, you know, get the benefit from the areas that are progressing better in the economy, and maybe giving a break to the areas where there is a, there is an issue uh, with the economy. Having said that, uh, is a question of. Uh, uh, culture, first of all, uh, culture in the use of guns uh, that can be related to hunting, uh, so the type of animal environment uh, and characteristics that you're facing in the different countries of the world. Uh, of course, what works in, uh, in the Scandinavian countries uh, that may be very similar to the northern part of the United States and Canada is completely different than what works in South Africa or in Japan or in other areas like that. Um, there is an issue related to the to the law. Uh, the laws can be can vary dramatically from country to country. The type of uh, information required in order to achieve an importation and exportation, or the type of uh, characteristics of the guns that are allowed to the end user, are completely different. And in order to be able to follow all these different uh, situations, so we need to have a very strong team that, that is uh, partially in Italy and partially locally in the major countries where we have our expertise uh, that are dedicated to guarantee the maximum distribution of our products uh, and our experience uh, to, to the hunters and shooters uh, of the entire globe. Um, now, when somebody thinks of Beretta, they think of uh, tradition, they think of uh, 500 years of uh, manufacturing. You, the images that come to mind is the handmade gun. Uh, but Beretta has invested sizable resources, uh, recently especially, uh, towards increasing technology R&D and so on. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, our, it's an our mission and DNA. It's clearly stated that uh, our company stands for tradition and innovation. We have. Uh, we're looking for a constant equilibrium to make sure that our heritage and our history uh, foster and, uh, and helps the development of the innovation that we need in order to serve the market. In order to do that, uh, we operate in uh, all levels of the organization from the technologies and uh, strategies used in developing new products, so the R&D technologies, uh, very deep uh, use of uh, uh, computing systems in order to uh, analyze the product even before it's made, uh, even a single prototype, we know basically everything already from a computer based on how a gun is going to perform uh, even before getting a, a small component be made. Uh, we work very hard uh, in uh, improving the uh, performances of our production processes. We have machines that will run uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week uh, without man control. Uh, they are simply loaded by an operator and unloaded on the other cycle and these machines make uh, slides of the pistols or slides of the semi-automatic shotguns in complete uh, uh, autonomy. Uh, and by autonomy I don't mean only the working on the, on the, on the material but also the quality checks uh, with the laser technology, with uh, the latest measurement systems that are all uh, related to better quality, faster uh, production, shorter lead time, better service to the customer. So that's uh, it's a process, never-ending process, never-ending improvement. We are working hard in order to make it more successful. And that fostering of, uh, of innovation, of uh, technological advancement, obviously comes from human resources as much as it comes from, from machinery. So how difficult, how important, and how challenging is it to harness that strength of the resources you already have and then in acquiring new resources? Uh, it's uh, something that uh, all our uh, kids that are graduating to college should know. Uh, the jobs that we are uh, looking for now did not exist five or six years ago. There is a dramatic change in the type of uh, expertise, and knowledge and technology uh, background that we need to our customers and to our, excuse me, to our employees. Um, so some uh, uh, can be done by evolving the current people and, and training them and so a lot of training work and uh, activity. 
part instead we are looking for for new people uh, that can with new skills uh, there is a lot of information technology involved now there is a lot to do with uh, with the, the net uh, the internet and the, the, the and this type of things so um, it's, it's, it's hard but uh, you know the the, the, the company um, ideas and the company products are very attractive for a lot of uh, young talent uh, people and we have a good relationship with universities around the globe uh, so we, we hire uh, the best talents uh, and, uh, and that way we we hope we'll be able to keep up with the with the the evolution of the technology that is extremely fast never seen something like that uh. and in fact I understand that that uh, Beretta has actually a department that is dedicated to fostering new ideas and, and, and improving yeah. and pushing the state of the art. Yeah, exactly. We have, uh, as, as well as we are working on current products in order to improve and involve them, we have a team dedicated uh, both internal but also in, at uh, some universities in order to prepare uh, the ground for the future uh, projects to come. Uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, challenges uh, that uh, the technology and the evolution is, uh, is giving us uh, on the electronics, uh, on the miniaturization of components uh, that can be really now integrated into projects and objects that uh, uh, could not stand uh, these components before. So I think in the next few years you will see a lot of interesting novelties and innovation from our side. The impetus beyond all this is given often by the people at the very top. And the people at the very top for Beretta is the Beretta family. You work in Italy, and so your daily life is impacted yeah. uh, by the decisions that the Beretta family makes every day. How involved are they in this? A lot. They are um, really uh, the, the engine, the fuel, let's say, uh, that our company needs in order to, uh, to, to, to look for, for new challenges. Um, they are always uh, pushing uh, uh, us uh, over the limits raising the bar of uh, the standards that we are we are doing and uh, it's in their DNA you know to, to, to develop uh, to grow and to uh, never be satisfied with what you achieved and always looking for something else uh, they are doing every every day in every meeting we do uh, emails uh, text messages even while I'm here in the US I already have a couple of messages and a couple of ideas of what we could do in order to do everything better so and it's a great great challenge and a great environment to work with so We've been here for 500 years. We can expect great things for the next 500. Yes, at least. Excellent. <laughs> I know you got a uh, fight to catch, so I'll let you go. I wanted to thank you for uh, spending a few thank minutes with us, and we'll look forward to seeing you uh, very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys.